again, with rotational inertia, what's more important than the mass is where that mass is located. On the merry-go-round, when all the kids were right on the axis of rotation, it wasn't all that hard to get moving. But when the kids moved a great distance, as far as they could on the merry-go-round, away from the axis of rotation, the merry-go-round suddenly got harder to move. It wasn't because we put more mass on, it's just that the location of the mass changed. Another example are two shovels. Now these two shovels both have the same size shovel, which means they can carry about the same load. With each load on the small shovel, we look at the mass relative to the axis of rotation. Now the axis of rotation is right around my hand, right here. This is the axis about which I'm trying to rotate the scoop of sand. Now I can feel this resistance. If I went to a bigger, longer handled shovel, I still have the same amount of mass, but it now seems quite a bit harder to move. Now the mass of the sand didn't so much change as the location of the sand changed. Compare the location of this scoopful to where it would be on a shorter handle. Let's go check out another example. We've already seen several examples in the introduction, but I want to show you some more. Check this out. I have here two objects. Now, each of these objects is similar in many ways. First of all, they are both the same thickness or width. They both have the same diameter. They both have the same diameter and they both have the same mass. Now for that one, you're gonna to have to take my word for it, but they are created to be the same mass. This one is a solid disc, this one is a steel ring. So they share many physical properties. Now, I'm gonna put them on this ramp and we're gonna race them down the hill. Now these two things have the same thickness, the same diameter, the same mass, so they should behave the same, shouldn't they? Well, we've seen how the distribution of mass affects the motion of an object. So my question to you is, will they both meet at the bottom of the hill together? Or will the ring beat the disc to the bottom? Or will the disc beat the ring to the bottom? Let's check it out. Make a prediction real quick. What do you think? Ring, disc, or same? All right, you got an idea? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. All right, well, not only did the disc win, the disc smoked the ring. We can see here that although they share many physical properties the same, that those physical properties result in a difference. How the mass is distributed in each of these objects affects their motion. Let's look at a couple other ones. Check this out. This is a golf club, a seven iron, if you will. Now, we've been talking about the center of mass of different golf clubs, and the center of mass of this golf club, did it too fast. The center of mass of this golf club is right here. Now, how about balancing a golf club on two fingers? Now, I'm using two just for a good solid base, but I'm not trying to grip it in any way or, or hold on to it. I'm just giving it a good platform to hold on to. So, let's balance a golf club. Is balancing it easier with the club head away or the club head near your fingers? Seems to me that the club head is more easily balanced when it is near. Well, why is that? It's the same mass. The club doesn't change its mass in going from end to end but we certainly do see the difference in moving the mass to different locations. How about another one? How about a pendulum? Now you all have seen pendulums before. There's nothing to a pendulum other than a, a heavy mass on the end of a string. Now if I pull this mass back and let go, you can see that it oscillates around, this, around the standard of the ring stand just vibrating back and forth, back and forth. Well, what would happen if I D 
decreased the radius, pulled it back again to the same distance, and let go. Boy, it vibrates a whole lot quicker than when way down here. Why is that? It's the same mass, but the mass is in a different location. Well, we're going to spend this lesson focusing on the impact of the location of mass when an object is in motion. Before we can quantify, before we can create an expression that tells us how the mass differs by location, let's first consider what it takes to get an object in motion. These disks, this pendulum, this golf club. Well, let's begin by talking about the golf club. 